After years of living in every traditional house you can think of, one local man is now calling the inside of an airplane home. Josh Chapin shows us the high flying idea. We all want that celebrity life, that life of luxury to be able to fly around in our own planes whenever we want to wherever we want. Well, one Houston area man has figured out how to do that. Kind of. I didn't have enough time to print you a boarding pass. Normally I print those and I hand them to you. We're headed out to San Antonio. Go ahead and let's get prepared. As you board Joe Axline's plane, you feel like you're at home. This is the living room and this is the formal dining room here. But a closer look inside. It's used very uh, sparingly. In this case here, we put the towels and bedding up here. And a step farther back on the outside. This one here is 17,000 pounds of aluminum. I call it freedom. And that one over there is a little bit shorter. It's about 14,000 pounds. And I call it spirit. Shows that these two aircrafts sit in Joe's yard in Brookshire, which is also on an airfield. This is a McDonnell Douglas 80, and that's a DC-941. Axline is living in the MD-80 and outfitting the spirit plane with a movie room and more. I've had five homes, brand new homes built from the ground up, anywhere from 2,000 square foot to over 4,000 square foot. And I've had one on a lake. But this, something he calls Project Freedom, is what truly gives him wings. What makes more sense is thinking about what you want to do in life. I call this Project Freedom because I got to tired of being told what to do, when to do, and how to do it. It's just simple. Just It doesn't work. I want to do what I want to do. I want to do it when I want to do it, and I want to have the money to do it. After the spirit plane is done, Joe plans to build a control tower to connect the two. In Brookshire, I'm Josh Chapin. KHOU 11 News, over and out.